Hello viewers all over the world. Hello fans. I greet you all. Um, you are welcome to the next episode of my tutorial. And um, in today's tutorial, I really want to teach us on how to insert footings, that's foundation, into a structure. And as you can see, this is the structure that we already have. Um, for those of us that are in this channel for the first time, we had a full tutorial of how we rest this structure to this level. So if you want to know how we rest this structure to this level, you can check on to my videos below. Then if um, you can, you subscribe. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. You won't be charged for anything. Just click on the subscribe button. And if this video means a lot to you, please do well to comment and like. Then share the link. Okay, like I said today, we want to do a foundation. We want to put a, a base onto this structure. So without much ado, let's get started. Okay. For you to uh, put a foundation or a, a footing onto this uh, structure, uh, you have to go to the zero 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 story zero zero story where all the columns will be displayed it is very simple when you go you can see this red that represents the columns on these structures represent the column on the structure so for you to insert a base for these columns what you need to do first is to click on it then right click once you right click you will see insert pad base then you click on the insert pass base insert pad base um, a dialog box will appear of which you have to insert all your data um, you can see footing level you can see footing depth for my footing depth uh, I would love to use um, 300 then my sausage I would allow it to be um, at the level of 700 depending on uh, your, your, your site my soil um, unit weights I choose to be 18 then the allowable stress of soil is 200 concrete cover is 40 so um, this is it you can choose your bar to be Y12 or Y16 depending on the kind of structure but for my own structure I'd used to I'd love to use Y16 so um, you can do that you can choose it for yourself depending on the kind of soil that you are dealing with that if only you might have um, conducted a, a soil test it's proper to conduct a soil test before you choose all these parameters for your uh, footing okay after you might have done with this you click on calculate when you click on calculate another dialog box will appear it will read um, uh, this y16 uh, and 250 center to center the AS is 600 millimeters that is the D is 252 millimeters as you can see here so everything has been calculated by Orion it is very very simple not for you to start calculating and be approximating uh, and be doing uh, approximations and all that Orion is very simple it makes work easier for all engineers so you choose your square footing here and already the LX is 1000 which means that uh, from center to center it will be 5500 each each side so after you might have done that you click OK once you click OK you click OK again as you see my best my part footing has been inserted as you can see this is 1000 and center to center that is 500 here and 500 this other way very beautiful so what you need to do is to keep on working on it you click right click 
in set base and everything is okay you calculate choose your square footing click ok and you click ok and it has been inserted you can do for all you can do the same thing for all the columns you can do the same thing for all the columns or you can equally go here you set calculate footings ok click ok it has been inserted you can do the same thing for all ok let's do it together And notes if you are not really comfortable with the um, um, LX to be 1000, you can equally increase it here. You can increase it here. And if you want footing length step to be increased, you can also increase it here. Also, you can increase it here. But for the purpose of this study, I will just allow it the way it is. If you can you can increase it but you cannot decrease it. this will be the minimum LX that the Orion has calculated for you the best will not be smaller than this if it is smaller than this something will happen it will, it is an error so instead of reducing it you can increase it to be greater than this 1000 LX so that is that for that what you need to know Sorry to take some time. Just right click insert. Already these parameters have done everything. What we need to do is to just calculate square footing. Okay, okay. And your best is home and dry. Right click insert calculate square footings. Okay, okay. Your best is home and dry. Something here. okay i think we are done now your base has been successfully been inserted your pad base has been successfully inserted so let's watch it out how it looks like in our 3d modeling yeah you can see they are so beautiful you can see all the best well inserted you can see this is not how it was before now our structure has a pair so that is how you can insert your base in your structure using CSC Orion 
18 so maybe if you wanted a calculation sheet the only thing you will do is to just click right click and click on print results once you click on print result all the calculations of the part uh, um, uh, footing results has been calculated so what you need to do is to just uh, uh, calculate and uh, print it out and submit it wherever you want to submit for the uh, bender then another thing I want to show you right now is um, if you want to see the detailing just come closer to here the left corner of this page just click on foundation details once you click on foundation details, you see something like this. You click on the uh, sheets, sheets one. Then you click on it. It is here already. Look at it. Look at it very close. Look at it. Um, your detailing is here look at your bars everything is here look at your bar center to center 1000 everything is here so beautiful like i told you orion makes work so beautiful so neat economical and easy for you instead of you to be calculating this and be punishing yourself over and over again orion makes work more easier for you even it has a steel schedule shade too that you can just print to your bar bender they will start cutting your bars to the forms that you really want look at it your total length your shape look at it everything is here so sweet so if you want to print it you can equally print it from here then you submit it where you want to submit or you take it to the site so viewers this is how to insert a pad footing in your structure using CSC Orion 18 it is very simple if this tutorial really means a lot to you please 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 subscribe subscribe and share subscribe and share please subscribe and share I really want this video to go wild so that is how to insert a pad footing thank you viewers thank you for now in our next class i'm going to show us how to insert uh, how to design how to design a, a staircase in a structure that is what i will teach us in our next tutorial please do well to like subscribe and comment below and watch other episodes of my tutorials below Thank you very much. Bye.